Hey everybody, so this week's video wasn't the one I planned. I know last week I teased a video about a, a possible new morph that I'm working with that I've had like 10 years in the making trying to figure out the details for. That video is going to have to wait for a few days. Uh, last week I was planning on filming that one, and of course some of the snakes were in shed. Now this week, some of the other ones are in shed. So I'm thinking I'm going to film that one next week. So for this week, I'm going to show you some toffino and toffee combos. Uh, and I've got adults here too, so you can see what they look like. Toffinos and toffees are something that look so much better as adults than they are when they're babies. So I just wanted to show what they look like by showing you some examples of some combos that I've done here. So you guys probably already know that toffee is allelic with albino. So when you breed a toffee to an albino, you get a toffino, which is basically a double het for albino and toffee. And, but since it's allelic, you get like an act like super, so you get a toffino. Toffinos are um, kind of an intermediate between an albino and a toffino. Albinos are yellow and white. Toffees are uh, mostly like a purple and yellow, and toffinos are kind of a lavender and yellow. So I'm going to show you a few different examples here. So let's take a look at them. Okay, here is a typical adult Toffino. This one's actually het for pied. Um, I produced a toffee pied with her last year. So you can see the nice, nice lavender coloration coming in here. So when this one hatched, and when all toffinos and toffees hatch, they look like albinos. They don't really start getting their color until after they start to grow a little bit. Toffinos change from white to lavender kind of gradually over the course of several months. Toffino, or pure toffees change really quickly, and that's the easiest way to tell when they're young. You know, usually by two months of age, the toffino is just has a little bit of lavender in them, but a, an actual toffee is pretty dark lavender already at that point. So yeah, this is a really nice, big toffino female. So they look a lot better as adults. You know, this size than they do when they're babies. So if you're looking for a relatively inexpensive morph of ball python that's going to still be awesome looking as an adult, a toffino or a toffee is definitely a great way to go. Okay, now in comparison, this is a toffee. So this one has a copy of the albino gene and a copy of the toffee gene, and this one has two copies of the toffee gene. Now this one is actually a little less lavender than most adult um, toffees. Um, this is just an adult female that I happen to pick out to bring, but it, it's this one's got a little bit different coloration than the typical lavender than, that you usually see on them. But you can see that this snake is definitely darker overall than this snake is. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is another Toffino. I'm going to put these two away. This is, hopefully I can get him to sit still, this is a Toffino leopard. So leopard is really a cool morph to put into any albino type project, whether it's, you know, Ultramel, which is actually kind of a type of T-positive albino, um, the Toffee, the Toffino, Lavender, you know, Leopard just works really well with all of them because it adds so much contrast. So um, I'm working on making pure toffee versions of this. I actually think I have one right now. It's a hatchling and it's turning colors really quickly. So I'm thinking that it's a toffee, but um, I, I just don't know yet. I mean, it's not even as dark as this one right now. But this is uh, going to be a future breeder male. What that, well, oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, this guy will be breeding here fairly soon, and I'll breed him to produce a toffee version of this. I'll breed him back to a toffee, maybe even that one I just had out, and then I'll be able to produce a leopard that's much darker lavender than this one. But this guy is just coming out really nice. I've held back a couple of these, uh, I think three or four of them over the past couple of years. This guy hatched in 2020, I think late 2020. So he's... 
I didn't use him for breeding this year. You know, by the time I started my breedings for this year um, in December, he wasn't quite big enough yet at the time. He's probably big enough now, but I figured I might as well let him get a little bit bigger and just sit on the shelf for another year. I actually do have, I think I have one or two of these available right now too. So you can check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Uh, I don't have all the snakes available that I have right now. Uh, they're not all on the website, but uh, quite a few of them are, and I'll be putting more on as time goes by as well. Okay, the next one here, this is a Toffino Mojave. I do have a pure toffee Mojave too, um, which is a little bit more lavender looking than that and, and darker overall. But of course, he's in shed right now. So um, what I'm doing with my Tofino Mojave females is I'm breeding them to the Toffee Mojave male to make dark red-eyed leucistics. You can, you can see like one big indicator of a, a Tofino or a Toffee versus an albino is you can see how dark those eyes are, really dark ruby red. That is a good sign, like even when they're younger. When they first hatch, the eye color is basically the same between albinos and toffinos and toffees. Um, but they, as they start growing, the eye color on the toffinos and toffees get a lot darker very quickly. So that is a toffino Mojave, and maybe I'll show a pure toffee Mojave at some point in another video. Uh, he just didn't cooperate and decided to go in a shed. The next one I have here, one of my favorites, this is a Toffino Black Pastel. Black Pastel, like the Leopard, is another one of those darker genes, and that translates into a really dark lavender Toffino and an even darker lavender Toffee. Um, I just think that, that that's a pretty simple snake to make, and I just think it's, it's so awesome. And I actually have some younger ones here. I have them right behind me here. Here's a hatchling. So that's going to dark, continue to darken up and look like that as an adult. This is actually one of my breeder males. I think this is male number two. I have two of these guys breeding right now. So you can see, you know, this guy is this guy is about six months old already. So you can see that you know they they change fairly slowly. This guy's actually probably about four years old right now, I believe. this little guy back okay so then this is the pure toffee version and you can just see how much darker that is than this one and this one's a female she's fairly small but I'm going to be breeding her this season yet to um, uh, clown pied. So I, what I'm going for is I'm going to go for, there'll be normals and black pastels and there'll be triple het for clown pied and toffee. Pretty crazy. I thought, you know, like five years ago, double het or a double recessive was, you know, the, the best thing out there. And now everybody's thinking triples and quads and things like that. Like it's, everything is just changing so fast in the industry. So I'm working on all that stuff as well. Okay, here's another one. This is a Toffee Enchi. This is really nice high contrast snake. Um, one of the nicest ones that I've produced so far, I think. So this is the toffee black pastel and toffee enchi, and you can see the dark eyes, really dark lavender coloration, and just really nice background color too. And then this one is what you get if you cross the two. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is a Toffino or a Toffee yet, it came out of a breeding where I could produce Toffees and Toffinos. So I'm not 100% sure on it yet. But this is a, an NG Black Pastel and either a Toffino or a Toffee. 
I've produced a few of these. I have two males that are breeding this year, and I'm breeding them, them to some different uh, albino females. So I should be able to figure out if they're pure toffees or toffinos um, by the, when I see their babies. And you know, if the whole clutch comes out toffino, when you breed a toffee to an albino, the entire clutch will come out toffino. So if the males that I have, when I breed them, if their entire clutch comes out toffino, then I know that the male is a toffee. Okay, well that's all I have to show you today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I actually enjoyed it too. Uh, I love looking at these things. I just, this is one of my favorite projects out there. I just absolutely love them. Um, Tinley Park is coming up at NARBC uh, next weekend, so make sure to check me out there if you're attending. And uh, I'll have a load of animals down there, including some toffees and toffinos and lots of albinos and clowns and pies and you name it, I should have it. Um, so anyway, check, check out my table. I'm back uh, by the, the big uh, floor to ceiling windows in the back of the main room. I'm, I've got an end cap facing the window, so really nice view, really well lit. I love that spot. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that show. Also, please like and subscribe to the video and make sure to visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com to see all the cool stuff I have available. I will see you guys soon and I promise I'll get that video out with that, that new kind of potential new morph that I'm working on right now. I'll try to get that out to you next week before the show. See you guys soon.